Welcome to EuroPCR 2021. My name is Professor Roland Schmieder, and I'm heading the European Hypertension Excellence Center at the University Hospital in Erlangen, Germany. I am here to talk about the reduction after renal denervation and the clinical of such reduction in blood pressure in terms of improvement of cardiovascular prognosis. We used the Global Simplicity Registry as the registry comprising 3,000 patients with various cardiovascular risk, and the registry intends to analyze the long-term efficacy, safety, and durability of renal innovation performed with the Medtronic catheter. Let me explain you how we did the methodology in our analysis. First of all, we calculated the average fall in systolic blood pressure in office blood pressure terms for the whole group. And over three years on average, the blood pressure reduction was 14.8 millimeter mercury. Subsequently, we referred to the literature and analyzed are there data, so-called meta-regression analysis, that related the reduction in blood pressure to the reduction in cardiovascular events. And indeed, there are several analyses, but one which is particularly suitable for us, only including hypertensive patients. And as you can see here in the middle of the right figure, stroke and, hyper and heart failure are the most prominent events that can be reduced after reduction of blood pressure in this analysis. And important, it, it, the reduction is proportional. The third step was to calculate control events according to the published data and thereby also allowing us to calculate absolute risk reduction and number needed to treat. In the table, you find first the observed event rates and for example, for maize in the global simplicity registry, we had 9.9% over three years. And the relative risk, we can expect according to the reduction after the innovation is 0.74. And the calculated control event rate is 13.5%, assuming hypothetical control maintains baseline systolic blood pressure over three year follow up. So, in the whole group, as shown here, there's a striking difference and reduction of MACE, cardiovascular death, myocardial fat, and stroke in the patients treated with renal innovation. We now analyzed several high-risk subgroups. For example, the group resistant hypertension and the results are illustrated on the left side. If you go to the very left corner, you see the maze in blue indicating the observed event rate and in dark blue, the calculated control event rate for the baseline blood pressure. And you can see here a striking difference from 15.1% down to 9.9%. And the number needed to treat is just 19. And in the same group, you can also appreciate with respect to stroke, there is a substantial reduction in the stroke from 8.4% from calculated event rate down to 4.8% actually observed with a number needed to treat 28. On the right side, you see a similar analysis for type two diabetes. And it's quite similar. Striking difference in MACE and stroke, but also some in cardiovascular mortality and myocardial infarction with respect to actually observed whether the expected control rate. And please note, we were able to calculate the absolute risk reduction and in MACE, we found a reduction of 5.2% with respect to the group resistant hypertension and 3.8% for the group of type 2 diabetes over three years. 5.2% less cardiovascular complications in resistant hypertension. And this is really striking. And as a similar pattern turned out when we analyzed age group above 65 years or the group with a high atherosclerotic cardiovascular resistance disease score above 20. Again, a substantial reduction in the event rates. And when we calculate the absolute risk reduction, again, 
in patients above 65 years, 4.1% less MACE. And in the group with a higher cardiovascular risk score, 4.2% less MACE events over three years. So very clearly, we could prove a substantial reduction in cardiovascular complications with this estimate. So dear colleagues, to conclude, our model showed that renal treatment in addition to medication can be expected to be associated with clinically meaningful reductions in cardiovascular events across a spectrum of cardiovascular disease. And this event reductions can be expected to be most pronounced in highest risk patients. Absolute risk reduction was between four and 5% for the outcome MACE over three years. I think this is important for clinicians as well as for policymakers. Thank you much for listening.